renewable energy. They want to be part of making our environment clean. This is a way to make sure that everyone, even low income folks, can participate. So with that, I will turn it over to my witnesses. Good morning. Good morning, Chair Hueslo and committee members. My name is Ami Raval with the Asian Pacific Environmental Network. APEN secures environmental justice for Asian Pacific Islander, immigrant, and refugee communities living on the front lines of pollution. APEN is also a member of the California Environmental Justice Alliance, co-sponsor of this bill. CEHA represents 30,000 community members who are mostly low-income and communities of color. APEN and CEHA urge you all to vote yes on SB 366 for the following reasons. First, this bill addresses barriers in participation to the current Green Tariff Shared Renewables Program. In order to achieve our state's energy goals, the SB 350 Low Income Barriers Study recommends the state to make the economic advantages of community solar accessible to low income populations. Shared renewable energy programs like GTSR are a promising solution for low income families, more than two thirds of whom are renters and may not otherwise have access to renewable energy. The bill also proposes funding a community-led marketing, education, and outreach effort to ensure meaningful participation among low-income ratepayers. If the current GTSR program were to be designed as laid out in SB 366, we will have an opportunity to address these barriers and increase participation in the program. Second, this bill reduces energy bills. As currently designed, the program has resulted in substantial price premiums, but low-income customers cannot afford to pay more for solar. Currently, low-income households have an average energy burden that is approximately three times higher than high-income households. In fact, according to the U.S. Department of Energy, low-income households pay an average of 25 to 40 percent of their income on utility bills. This bill will make access to renewable energy more affordable by ensuring that low-income customers receive a meaningful bill savings. SB 366 will bring the benefits of renewable energy to neighborhoods that need it the most. For these reasons, we strongly urge your I vote. Thank you. We have. Ye hot I told me it tung me and what I did long your thing, they were. Don't the cook, Master Cook, my yan. So, Lord, you have been a salon. So, the word picking said. Young Tony, that two thousand twelve. You've got your craft from yet. That's how you did touch in touch. You got your mom, but in tea and young. Told me to me my thing. Lancing to bomb with it to me my toy. Told you, I had you in your tomb of your mother to me. เดี๋ยวจึงยังจบเมียนก่อนนั้นตัวหนานเมียนไหนไม่สั่งให้ว่าแต่หัวเสาะอย่างให้แต่อย่าเก่งต่างดูเรื่องอะไรเขาอย่
right? But with this program, she will have access to solar energy and is hoping also to reduce her um, energy bill as well, so with savings. And um, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional for her. <laughs> and also that um, communities and neighbors like her, she also knows a lot of people in the family and also in the larger community that are passing away right now from cancer, from heart attacks, from asthma, children with asthma, and why is this? Um, and she is hoping that with the transition away from dirty energy and moving towards renewable energy for our home, for transportation, for local businesses, that she can, um, that her health will improve and that we are saving the health of the future of our children. And so she is in strong support and urges you all to support SB 366. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your testimony. Thank you.